Okay, we're still at the Orman house. Um, this is the first thing I saw when I came up here. This is super exciting for me. Possibly even more exciting than the Orman house itself. Uh, the Orman house is what it is. It was a plantation house and we did a video on that and it's very explanatory. This, we're in Florida. We're in Apalachicola, Northern Florida. This is a an original mid 19th century wooden slave quarter. This is one of four of the original that were built by Orman, the guy that owned the house. And this is the only one that hadn't blown down yet. Uh, I've never seen a wooden slave quarters in Florida. I don't recall ever seeing them up north. I mean, I've been to a lot of plantation houses and usually these things deteriorate. They're the last thing that people would have restored. They're trying to protect this one, obviously, and they're not doing a terrible job, but at the end of the day, this thing deserves a whole lot more, in my opinion, uh, restoration than, than what they're doing. It should at the very least be covered, and, and if not, you know, surrounded, it, 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 something. It should be something. I mean, I don't think it should necessarily be, I don't know, it just, there should be something more to it than what it is. These are original, this is original wood. This wood is almost 200 years old. This structure has been sitting here for almost 200 years. That, I, should, I don't know, that's just mind blowing to me. It's, it's semi-classic cracker construction with the exception that they didn't build it up off the ground. So uh, one of the things that would have been inside would have been sweltering, absolutely sweltering. They did have obviously windows and doors, um, but um, not not uh, not the kind of airflow that you would get in a cracker cabin construction where it was up off the ground for the purpose of the heat uh, ventilation ventilation from the heat uh, this is just I mean this is just staggering this is amazing to me we have no idea how many slept in here or what they did I did ask the the ranger if the house slaves slept inside. He was emphatically no. They they slept out here. Um, so. Did you read this? Yeah, I'm, I'm looking for something that wasn't. Oh, okay, one of the slaves the accompanied yeah. William. Oh, blacks had little choice but to support the Confederate war effort. <laughs> Well, there's a certain amount of truth in that, but a blanket statement is not, not correct. Very likely he grew up with the guy. He was more than happy to go with him and defend his homeland, too. But this is, you know, all the nonsense aside, this is a very incredible structure. And again, they have done some restoration. They've shored it up with some decent pressure treated two by tens and some some planted posts but uh, there's definitely more to this that needs to be done four of these I don't know where the the others would have been but this is the this is the last one the only one to survive oh very cool very cool and this, um, this chimney is amazing too. I don't know where the opening would have been, but well, here they've retrofitted it for, a, there's a pipe going in for an old stove. I'm not sure how that would have connected to the, unless they would have had an old wood burning stove in there, but that doesn't even make any sense. I don't see an opening for a, the actual fireplace. I saw the, the hole, you know, look for, a, for the wood Probably burning oil stove. Or but, oil. Well, they wouldn't have oil in the mid uh, early 19th century. <laughs> Ooh, nice. Nice, nice, nice. So imagine it between the time uh, that people did not live here anymore and now 
or in, uh, when the Park Service restored it, I imagine it would have been a more, uh, it would have been used, it would have more uses. But but at the time it was built, it was a slave cabin, slave quarters. That's, that's, that's astonishing, staggeringly cool. Anyway, um, we're going to photograph it and uh, continue on our way.